Hi everyone, let's start working on one of the standard problems today which is based on finding out longest common substrings between two strings. So given two strings named S1 and S2, the problem statement is to find out the longest common substrings between S1 and S2. There can be multiple substrings which are common between two strings. For example, you have two strings S1 and S2 uh, given here. LC, LC, AC, C, L, C, L. So they, this, these have, these can have multiple common su substrings, right? So there is LC. There are there are strings like LC, C, L, C, L, which uh, which are common to both of these strings. But we want to find out the longest common substrings. So in here you have two substrings which are common and which are the longest substrings. So you have C, L, C and L, C, L, which are common. In both the strings here and which are of length 3 3 right so what is the solution for this problem the straightforward approach would be to to compute all the substrings of a given string starting from an empty substring so then that will be 2 power n uh, substrings right so that would go to the order of 2 power n the comparison of all the substrings between two strings and this is intractable and exponential right so let the, that should be that should be a better way to do this okay let's think of uh, think of this uh, solution in a way uh, where we have a table like this in which all the all the columns represent the characters of the first string s1 and all the rows represent the characters of string s2 that is clc okay so we want to go diagonally here we want to match the characters of the strings diagonally and count how many characters have been matched along the diagonal okay we initialize this matrix by zeros and then when we maintain two variables the first one is the max max length of the common substring and the result set where we populate the longest common sub substrings uh, that we encounter as we go along the algorithm okay so let's try to iterate through the algorithm here I am going to go row by row by row along along this path okay and then for each row I I'll go by each go to each column and compare the characters okay and accordingly update the numbers here so initially if if it is the first row or the first column and if there is a match between the characters I'll just uh, increment the count to one so every count will be incremented by one if there is a match increment by one okay so let's start doing uh, doing that so uh, we are at c okay so this is the first uh, first comparison that we did is c equal to l no right so we don't increment is c equal to c yeah it is so we increment it to one so we have a common substring of length one okay and uh, we and the result set contains that substring okay we also we update the maximum length of the common substring that we have at this point and then we also update the uh, string that we have at that point okay let's move forward in this row the next uh, comparison that we do is uh, compare c with l it's it's not a match okay so we don't increment this count again we see that c matches c here in the last column and the count is incremented to one so uh, we don't have to update the max because it's uh, it's not greater and we also don't have to update the result set because it's the same substring okay so let's let's move on to the next row here in the next row we see that l is uh, l is equal to l and in the we increment the count we also update the result set okay since it is since the max maximum is again one we don't have to update max okay so let's let's move on to the next column uh, there is no match here now when we move on to this column here we will see that there is a match between l and l and if we go up the diagonal we see that c and c also match right so we what we do is we increment from here we increment this number by one and we get a common substring of length two which we update here in the result set as well as we update the uh, size of the maximum longest common substring that we have 
if you notice i have thrown away the uh, single length substrings that we had before right c and l because we don't need them we only need the longest common substrings between the given strings okay so let's move on to the next row here uh, again c doesn't match l uh, but we if we move on here so c matches c and we increment the count we have a common substring of length 2 lc and we update the result set since there is no change in the length of the longest common substring we don't update the max okay let's move on to the next column here c doesn't match l so it, this remains zero in the last column though we see that c matches c and we have a match here and what we see is we get a longer substring which is of length 3 so we throw away the substrings which are of length 2 and we update update the result set with the c l c okay so we are doing the matches along the diagonals and incrementing the counts along the diagonals so that helps us solve the problem okay so let's move on to last row here same procedure is for us since l matches here uh, the max is 1 and which is not equal to the max we have so we don't use this and we don't update the result set and we move on to next column there is no match but this column there is a match right so we again find a, a substring which is of length 3 and which is the longest right so we if we find the long, current longest substring we update it into the result set that's how the algorithm will solve the problem let's look at the code and try to understand how this is implemented so here there is a function which takes two strings s1 and s2 we define a match matrix is shown here it's the same that we talked about before and we also maintain a max variable which is the maximum length of the common substring we have and we also have a results a result list okay so the outer loop goes along the rows okay and the inner loop goes along the along the columns so as we go along the column if we find a match either in the first row or in the first column we initialize the matrix cell to one so matrix ij will be initialized to one at this at this point okay or if if we are not in the first or the first column or the first row uh, and we are in the diagonal and if there is a match like this here we increment uh, increment the upper diagonal value which is match i minus 1 j minus 1 plus 1 if the length of the common substring at this point is greater than the maximum length that we maintain in max then we update the max okay we also uh, throw out the result set that we had previously we just reinitialize it and then add the current substring to that current longest common substring to that please look at the start and ends of the substring we basically uh, basically do i minus max plus one because max is the length of the substring we go back that much and then start the string from there uh, for string s1 and end it at i that is the longest common substring that we are interested in okay also if the count with that we update in match ij if it is equal to the max we just have to add that substring that's it that's the algorithm thank you so much and please let me know if you have any comments, questions or concerns.